One of the hallmarks of the criminal justice system is the ability for a public defender or, or a, a privately retained defense attorney to work out and negotiate out a deal with the prosecutor that's acceptable to the court and that the court would enter a judgment uh, uh, order on. That is no difference when it comes down to DUI. Um, although there are mandatory sentencing guidelines as it relates to DUI in Arizona, whether it's basic DUI under 28-1381A of the Arizona Revised Statute or the super extreme DUI 28-1382A2, uh, um, any of the in-between statutes, there is some wiggle room in all of those statutes based uh, on the specific facts of an individual case. Was it DUI alcohol? Was it DUI marijuana? Uh, did you blow a .08 or did you blow a .289? Uh, were you driving or had you fell asleep behind the wheel of a car? Is this just your first DUI um, uh, or, or, is this your, or is this your 15th DUI? Um, uh, did you get in a car accident or, or was there no other injured party? All of these will be factors that um, lean into, if you will, how much wiggle room is and uh, uh, whether there is a quote unquote plea deal uh, at relates to the DUI or not. For example, in some courts, uh, be it uh, a justice court or municipal court or a um, or the superior court, depending on where the where the DUI charge is processed through, um, the, some of the courts offer a task program where if you complete so many hours of community service, uh, alcohol related uh, and based training, that some of the uh, uh, fines could could possibly be reduced. Um, uh, community service could be waived. You know that's at the discretion of the judge. Um, maybe the 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 ten the nine days of the suspend or the of the sentence is suspended. These are this is where all where wiggle room plays into. It. And again, you'd be dealing with the judge and the prosecutor. Some prosecutors uh, in the county have a, a mandatory rule that if. If it's your first DUI, they automatically offer you the TAS program, the divert, Deferred Prosecution Program. Sometimes it could be reduced down to uh, what we lawyers refer to instead of DUI, we refer to it as wet, reckless driving. But again, these are all fact-intensive, case-based, why they should be uh, the, the charges should be mitigated and you shouldn't be charged with DUI. After the facts are looked at, the body camera evidence is reviewed by your defense attorney, which this should always happen. But we, I don't recommend any attorney or, or anybody stick with an attorney that just blindly hands you the first plea deal that's in front of you. You need to look at what the officer said. You need to review his report. You need to go out to the scene and take pictures of, of the incident and, and then make a, a sound decision as to what could be uh, negotiated out. Write a, 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 a deviation letter requesting the prosecutor to deviate away from the charges and so there are there's always opportunities within the framework some of it's mandatory and can't be moved but there is some wiggle room whether it's a super extreme DUI or basic DUI there are some opportunities there to work out some of the things to where the punishment doesn't seem as harsh as it's supposed to be but again it's case by case based on the facts and you would want to discuss that uh, with your attorney uh, who would go in there and arduously defend your position and making sure that uh, uh, you're not being over sentenced or disciplined unnecessarily uh, for being arrested for DUI.